concealers that I use and I'm going to be using CoverGirl on Olay eye concealer and I just really love this because it kind of gets rid of the dark parts that's around my eye alright next I'm going to prime with F eyelid primer you guys know I love this primer and I use it all the time even when I put concealer on because this just help your um shadow stay on all day so i'm gonna prime with this oh, i forgot my finger flipped it to move on to the shadows so i'm gonna use the lorac pro palette and i'm gonna use the color 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 stable out of this palette and i'm just using stable to kind of define my crease so i really want a defined I look I'm if you don't really want to do the eyeshadow you just want to do the liner because the liner will look good with your eyes I just want to be extra and put on eyeshadow you can skip this step and just move on to the liner part but I want my uh, crease to be defined and I want to add a little bit color to color up my concealer so I'm gonna go ahead and add stable in my crease to kind of define it Alright, and then I'm going to take a blending brush with really nothing on it and just blend that in. Alright, and then I'm going to go in with the It's Judy Time palette and I'm going to be using this kind of soft brown color here. And I'm going to just put this on my lid and blend it into my crease to kind of lighten up the color that I use to define my lid with. And I'm just going to use the same blending brush that I used to blend that out. I wanted to use a navy liner because I'm trying to keep it with the color scheme. So I'm going to use a navy liner by F Cosmetics. This, and I'm just going to line my eyes normally how I would line it when I'm doing a normal wing. And then I just lined it normally how I would line any liner. Like that. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. Hopefully I can get it just this cute. <laughs> and well, I'm going to let that dry. So it's going to take a second to dry. And I'm going to use Rimmel Scandal Eyes Liner in Deep Blue. It's kind of like a navy color as well. It's just not as dark as the liner is but it's really really close and I'm going to put this in my waterline and just line that like that mm -hmm. 
I'm going to go ahead and add a brow bone color to this look. And I'm just going to use the Estrella Time palette again. And I'm going to use this light cream color beside it. It's showing up white on the palette, but I promise you guys it's cream. <laughs> Alright, so now it's time for the liner to go above it. With this, you have to be very careful and try not to smudge the blue and white together because then you get like a, you won't get the the color that you're looking for. So you want to be very careful, and that's kind of why I wanted to let it dry a little bit before I did it. So I'm just gonna take a NYX jumbo eye pencil and an angled eyeliner brush from Echo Tools, and I'm just going to take a little bit of product all right so I took about that much product and I'm just going to go above this liner so Alright, now I want to go in and just set that with a white eyeshadow because it is a cream. Um, yeah, it is a cream, so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna set it with white. So this, yeah, with white from the Lurac Pro palette. And if you are using a liner, you don't have to do this step, but I am not so. And again, I'm just pressing it on top of this. To just really set it because I don't want it to come off. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply my mascara. I'm going to be using two mascaras. I'm going to be using Dare Real by Benefit and I'm going to use Scandal Eyes, Wermo Scandal Eyes Retro Glam. I'm going to take L'Oreal Telescopic and Quirin Black and just apply that to my bottom lashes. I'm going to have to do this off camera because I can't see it up there. I'm not even going to pretend like I can. Complete it. I look, I know it kind of looks like I have a like just white liner on, but I promise you guys, well you guys saw me put the blue on, but this is the completed eye look. Alright, so now move on to the lips. I'm going to zoom out just a little so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to do the red lip first, so I'm going to go ahead and wipe off the gloss I had on. I'm going to line my lips with Nika K's lip liner in the color red. <laughs> Alright, and then I'm going to use Maybelline's On Fire Red. I know you guys are probably like, what? She's not using Ruby Rue because she loves that lipstick. But I know I wanted to switch it up on you guys. <laughs> I'm going to use On Fire Red. And this is the red look. So it's more of a like... <laughs> For the blue lip, I'm going to line my lips with the same eyeliner that I used. And it's, again, Rimmel Scandal Eyes in Deep Blue. All 
right and then i'm going to color in my lips with a black lip liner and because the blue that i'm going to use you can see that it kind of looks a little green but it doesn't look pigmented enough on my skin at least to make it blue so i'm going to use a black to kind of make it like a navy midnight blue And I'm going to go in with a the Color Workshop Eye Crayon. And like I said, it's just like a little bluish green color here. Um, it's really blue, but it's just not as blue as I wanted it to be. 